could, using energy principles, we need to go and determine what's the speed of the block at point P. What's important to read here is the fact that as it goes down this incline, that it is a frictionless incline. At the moment that it says frictionless and da 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 red lights, why? Well, it's all colors of the rainbow actually for you because it means that you can be using your mechanical energy formula. Now, what is mechanical energy equal to? Well, we will further go on by saying that it's not just equal to EP plus EK, but we're going to be saying that mechanical energy, in this case, at this top point over here, so we'll say top, is equal to the mechanical energy then at the bottom. And then, as we said, yeah, it is also equal to the potential plus the kinetic energy, obviously at the top, and that's equal to the potential plus the kinetic energy at the bottom. Now, let's go and break this down even further. In this case, we've got a height of 5 meters, the object is 5 kilogram in mass, and the gravitation acceleration, you know we're going to be breaking down into mgh.